Welcome to Lesson 2 on Applications of Square Roots. For the first example, we have to determine the side length of the square and then use it to determine the perimeter. Now, if we're given the area, the side length can be found by determining the square root of the area. So we've got to find the square root of 2.25. Now I see that we have an even number of decimal places and 2.25 can be compared to 225. And the square root of 225 is 15, as we wrote in a list in a previous video. So since the square root of 225 is 15, my answer needs one decimal place. That makes the side length 1.5 meters. Now the perimeter can be found by adding up all four sides, or in this case, since it's a square, I can just multiply the side length by four. So four times 1.5. If I want to multiply that out, I'll multiply five times four, which is 20. Four times one plus two gives me six. Adding up all my decimal places here, I see that this has one decimal place. So my answer is going to have one as well. So that makes the perimeter equal to 6.0 meters. Now for this example, we have to use the Pythagorean theorem, which states that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And here we're looking for the hypotenuse, which is c. So I have to square 2 over 3 and square 8 over 9. So in square fraction, I can just square the numerator and denominator separately. So 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, now 8 squared is 64, and 9 squared is 81. Now when we have fractions, we need to find a common denominator. And between 9 and 81, that could be 81. So this fraction doesn't change. But the first fraction needs to be multiplied by 9. So this makes this 36 over 81 plus 64 over 81. Adding that together gives us 100 over 81. Now we need to find the square root of 100 over 81. The square root of 100 is 10 and the square root of 81 is 9. So that means that the missing side length here is 10 over 9 centimeters.